Elon Musk's mission to Mars might sound like a fictional story, but the billionaire's vision is quickly heading towards reality. If he and his brainchild SpaceX can take the human race from Earth dwellers to a multi-planetarium race, it will be the most ambitious and expensive project in history, costing up to $10 trillion. In today's video, we're looking at Elon Musk's timeline to colonizing Mars and ultimately the cost of this intergalactic endeavor. The initial idea of Musk's to get man to Mars started way back in 2002, when he was in the midst of selling PayPal and pondering on his sofa, what's next? How building rocket ships and exploring the universe became the obvious progression is a mystery. But either way, the seed for SpaceX was well and truly planted. After seeing that there was nobody with a space program for Mars exploration in place, instead of being discouraged, Musk started working frantically on making the journey both financially and literally possible. The initial idea was to send a small greenhouse to Mars, packed with dehydrated nutrient gel that could be rehydrated to grow small houseplants on arrival. Sounds a little pointless, I know, but what you would get is a glimpse at the very first life on Mars, to our knowledge, invaluable data about what it takes to keep something simple like plants alive on Mars, and a set of inspiring photographs that might just get the planet excited about space travel becoming legitimate. With no expectations of turning a profit, Musk said that if he could afford it, it would be a worthwhile expense. However, he quickly realized that he couldn't. The cheapest US-made rockets were $65 million a pop, and he would need two of them. Russian-made ones would have been much cheaper at $20 million each, but with 1960s technology and questionable reliability, the Soviet offerings were also out. It quickly became apparent that people weren't going to Mars not because they didn't want to, but because it was just too expensive. Nobody is standing in line to send $130 million into space with no scope for a return. So the mission to Mars became more about improving rocket technology, making it more efficient and cost-effective than simply getting to the destination. Okay, the end goal is to get people to the destination and hopefully be able to get back too. But progression in rocket technology is now at the core of what SpaceX does and is the backbone to what they can potentially achieve. Assuming all goes to plan, Musk believes that the first SpaceX rocket could be heading for Mars as soon as 2022 and a permanent self-sustaining city could take shape as early as 2050. Here's how it's going down and what the future plans are for this once unimaginable quest. Everything that SpaceX has done to date has very much been paving the road to Mars. The countless satellite launches, hop tests, and rocket technology developments have instilled confidence in Musk's ability to deliver his vision. 2020 will be the year of testing and funding. With three launches completed already this year and more than 36 in the pipeline, I think saying that SpaceX are perfecting their craft would be a real understatement. 24 of the 35 launches intend to carry 60 Starlink internet satellites, which will form SpaceX's super-fast broadband service. The internet venture is set to bring in around $22 billion in profits yearly by 2025. Who needs investors when you can sell the world's most sought-after commodity, Wi-Fi? 2020 will also see SpaceX sending out its first manned rocket, which could launch as early as May. 2021 will see SpaceX flagship rocket, the Starship, embarking on its very first commercial flight. The Starship will be the first ever fully reusable rocket and will be able to bring things into space, be it people, satellites or Mars rovers, and bring them back too. The Starship will also lay the foundation for Musk's plans to replace traditional airplane travel with rocket travel. He says that with the use of reusable launchers and passenger rockets, you could fly anywhere in the world in around 30 minutes for the price of a regular economy plane ticket. 2022 will be the absolute earliest year that SpaceX reaches Mars. Every two years, Earth and Mars align at their closest point, so it's naturally the best time for a launch. Musk has suggested that in 2022, he would like to send at least two unmanned ships to the Red Planet, carrying up to 100 tons of power, mining, and life support infrastructure for future flights. The likelihood of these flights going ahead are slim, but with Musk, you really do never know. 2023 is when SpaceX has sketched in its most solid date in their diary. This is when they plan on sending Japanese billionaire Yusaku Miyazawa, along with six to eight other accompanying artists on a trip around the moon and back. This will be SpaceX's first commercial passenger flight and its success would fare well with cautious onlookers who question the place of rocket technology in passenger travel. 
If the 2022 plans for Mars do not go ahead, which is probable, 2024 will be the next time the two planets align, so will be the ideal moment for a second attempt at sending the first Mars-bound shuttles of cargo. If SpaceX manages to send the two ships successfully to Mars, Musk says that the next steps will all point towards a fully manned mission. The interplanetary pioneers would be tasked with setting up a propellant production plant where they would make rocket fuel by combining Martian ice water and carbon dioxide to create methane and liquid oxygen, aka rocket propellant. Being able to create this fuel on Mars would be vital as it would be their only guaranteed ticket home. Musk has said that the first visit will be by no means a leisurely one, and any future ventures to Mars rely on its success. 2025 is the earliest year that Musk believes his Mars colony could really start to take shape. The lead Mars development engineer for SpaceX explained that subsequent launches following the very first would build on what's already there. With every new Mars landing, growth and expansion would be the underlying goal. He says that the idea would be rapid expansion. Start with a village, then a town, growing into a city, and then hopefully one day, multiple cities. The city centers would house habitats, greenhouses, and life support infrastructure to serve surrounding suburbs. With 2026 being the third alignment, this year will most likely see more ships being sent to Mars than ever before. What's gone up in the years prior will test the waters, and if it seems legitimately viable, which Musk believes it will be, 2026 will see the Mars city really establish itself. If 2026 sees real infrastructure and permanent habitable places popping up on Mars, having a fully-fledged city by 2050 doesn't seem like such an out-there proposition. By the end of this decade, Musk believes strongly that he will have some sort of settlement on the Red Planet and that in his lifetime, there's a 70% chance he'll make a personal visit himself. Whether or not SpaceX will be able to stick to this master plan is one thing, but what about the big elephant standing in the room? the financials. Musk has left the door wide open when answering this question, stating that putting a city on Mars within the next three decades could cost anywhere between $100 billion and $10 trillion. The finance calculations are based around the thinking that a city on Mars would require the transport of 1 million tons of cargo, minimum. A low estimate of $100,000 per ton is how we get to the $100 billion number. But this doesn't take into account the cost of everything that goes on behind the scenes. Rocket scientists and astronauts are not known for being very cheap, and SpaceX is going to need quite a few of them. Development of materials, endless amounts of testing, licensing, insurances – all of these things cost money, and money that will indefinitely play a significant part on the suggested bottom line. It's not set in stone that Musk is going to be able to afford the venture, but the potential of $22 billion a year from the internet company sure is going to help, if $100 billion covers the cost, that is. If the cost of building the Mars city raises even close to the upper estimates, we will be venturing into a whole new ball game. $10 trillion is an almost unimaginable amount of money and would make the venture the most expensive construction project in human history. Being so ludicrously costly begs the question of why does Musk actually want to do this? I'm sure one of the first things that you learn in entrepreneur school is to not throw loads of money at something that's not likely to turn a profit. But maybe there's more to his plans than just money. In a 2018 presser, he said that, There's so many things that make people sad or depressed about the future, but I think becoming a spacefaring civilization is one of those things that makes you excited about the future. That is the intent of Starship to make people excited about the future. The fact that getting the human race to Mars could be the most expensive project in history doesn't seem to bother Musk in the slightest. Maybe he has some hidden tricks up his sleeve that will land him a pretty return. Or perhaps he simply believes that you can't put a price tag on leading human exploration. One thing that's for certain is that Elon Musk and the work of SpaceX is making the here and now an incredibly exciting time to be alive. We will all be watching with eager eyes over the next few years as the true potential for Earth 2.0 starts to come to light. The proposed cost of a ticket to Mars is set to be around $250,000, with the idea being that you can sell your home and buy yourself a new life on Mars. If Musk is successful with his timeline, will you be buying a ticket in 2050?